that is what may have saved lives here. Now, the state fire marshal just wrapped up their investigation here about 15 minutes ago, and here's what they found so far. I want you to take a look now at the back porch of this home. The canine that was here just a little while ago found that the fire started on some carpet that was being stored right there on the back porch. And as you can see, there's some extensive damage, including the roof that caved in earlier today, but no one was injured thanks to some quick thinking by a veteran firefighter. Oh my God, and they're going in there. Action News viewers captured this video of intense flames destroying a dilapidated home in Springfield Wednesday. What no one knew at the time was how close more than a dozen firefighters were to disaster. There's a lot of rotted wood. Chief Marty Centerfit says the flames quickly spread to an abandoned apartment building behind the home. More than 50 firefighters were needed to battle the flames, and 15 of them went inside. It's like a pack of wild dogs. Sometimes you got to hold the reins on them. And this man, Battalion Chief Neil White, was watching feet away. Will we take a chance of killing a fireman for another person? Yeah, that's what we do. But that has never happened on White's watch. Over the past 30 years, he's worked to become one of the highest ranking members of JFRD. And on Wednesday, he was forced to make a tough decision as flames consumed those buildings. He backed everybody out. Literally, as he's backing them out, the roof caves in. But crews kept working, attacking the fire from the outside, and were finally able to put out the flames. An hour later, White retired. I've known this has come for a long time. And even though the buildings are a total loss, this chief went home proud of his long career and last on-scene decision. I've always said, I, don't, I want to leave this job with no one ever getting hurt or killed, any firefighters, and I made it. The state fire marshal showed me where someone has actually been doing some remodeling to this home, and it appears that they just installed some electrical panels. While this could be an accident, the fire marshal is not yet ruling out arson. They are still working to contact the owner and say for safety reasons, this home will need to be demolished very soon. We are live in Arlington tonight at Warford, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.